wait a minute. What do you mean something else is going on? Other than the Jets game, other than the fact the Jets just pulled off one of the biggest upsets of the entire year, there's something else going on? That's right, folks. It is just breaking right now uh, here on a late Sunday. I'm, tr- you know, I'm working on the uh, the Jets' review of their game against the Buffalo Bills, and then this huge story breaks that the New York Mets, the New York Metropolitans, have re-signed and are very close to re-signing Edwin Diaz, and they have agreed. It's official. The Mets have re-signed Edwin Diaz to a five-year, one hundred and two million dollar contract sound the trumpets here comes edwin diaz he is back folks uh for the long term and thank goodness uh this was a this is a huge signing this is a huge huge signing we knew that steve cohen was going to open up his wallets big time he has done of course he's done it since he's bought this team but we knew after the disappointment of this past season this team not getting to the world series the way they thought they could have the opportunity to do so Losing in the division, losing the wild card series to San Diego, that Steve Cohen was going to do something big once the season ended. And here we are, the day after the se- season has ended, with the Astros winning the World Series, and the Mets make their big move. They get Edwin Diaz back in the fold to be the closer of this team. You talk about a guy who has completely turned around the entire narrative about his career. Edwin Diaz is that guy. He has completely turned around that narrative. Uh, this was a guy who, when the Mets traded him. The Mets got him hoping, thinking that he would be this dominant closer that he was in Seattle, and it didn't work out initially, as we all know. And, of course, all Mets fans were upset about the, the trade because of the prospect of what Jared Kelenic would do in Seattle. As we all know, things just have a way of working out in weird ways. And Edwin Diaz this year, really the last couple of years, has gotten better, but this past year, the best closer in the game. Without a doubt, 32 saves, 1.31 ERA. Uh, fit like a glove in this town, coming out to uh, Narco, Timmy Trumpet's Narco, which now has become synonymous with him as much as, and I yes, Yankee fans, I know you're going to get upset when I say this, as much as Inter Sandman is synonymous with Mariano Rivera. Now, of course, we've got to see Edwin do it in the big playoff moments like uh, Rivera did, but you get the point. It is it is big-time theater when Edwin Diaz comes into the ball game in the ninth inning for the Mets, and he is, was a lockdown closer this past year, and he is here to stay. Who is next now is the question for the Metropolitans. Brandon Nemo, of course, is a player the Mets would love to bring back. There was some talk, discussion, rumors that maybe he, the Colorado Rockies would be interested in him. We shall see. He is a guy from the from Wyoming. Colorado was his home team. But we'll see if the Mets can bring him back. And then, of course, the big fish is Jacob deGrom. And the Mets need to find a way to bring him back in the fold in a big way. Chris Bassett is going to opt out. He's going to go free agent. So the Mets knee starting pitching. And, of course, Jacob deGrom is the big one, the one they have to bring back. That's the big name to bring back. If he wants to come back, and all reports are, is that deGrom wants to be here. There is rumors that he wants to be here, so we'll see what happens in that regard. Uh, another big sign the Mets made today is that Daniel Vogelbach, his option was picked up today as well. So the Mets making moves. Vogelbach back in the fold. Uh, I know a lot of people saying, you know, we're kind of upset with Vogel back towards the end of the season because he wasn't swinging the bat as well as he was at the be- at the first half, of the, at least, uh, you know, after the Mets got him initially from the tr- in the trade deadline from Pittsburgh. But he's a he's a home run threat. If he is a guy who's going to come off the bench, which is the way I think the Mets should use him for as a guy off the bench, I think he's a, he's certainly a positive, just maybe not the full time DH. But I, I like the fact that he's going to come back into the fold. He's a good clubhouse guy to have. So Vogelbach is back in the fold. Edwin Diaz back in the fold. And we'll see what's next as Steve Cohen is busy getting those Hanukkah and Christmas gifts under the tree as soon as possible here for the Metropolitans. It is a busy Sunday here in sports New York. Like and subscribe here to the Sports Talk Nation, and we will talk to you next time.